somewhere. Does anybody play sports? Anybody have a degree? Uh, you know how to cook? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel it. <coughs> Did you like come out of the gate eating gourmet? Probably really good, man. Uh, right? Follow the metaphor. I remember the first time I was a tennis player. I had this woman, thank God bless her, she looked at me and she said, Mary Ann, you have been rocking, sir. I had a 75 mile an hour serve and I'm a girl. I served like a man and I was undefeated singles champion in my division. I was not there to talk about shopping. I was going to kick your ass. And I did. But I didn't start out that way. I was ungraceful. I couldn't play the net. I didn't know how to do any of those things. And during that time, this woman said to me, you had an amazing serve. It's like, you know, Wimbledon material. She goes, but your backhand? And your forehand's average, honey. You're not going to Wimbledon with that game. Same thing in a relationship. It's like anything. Do you want a great relationship? Bring it. Bring it to the table. Get some skills. Develop them. Learn how to communicate impeccably. Be responsible for your own reality. Learn what that means. Know what it means to say no. Know what it means not to sell yourself short. Know your value. And it takes time and it's a process. And I'm sure you're all at some varying place on your path. I'm not saying people just fell off a personal development turnip truck here, you know, because I'm sure none of you have. And if we want that relationship, you're probably looking for maybe what you can't see, your blind spot. And I hope my book, if you're interested, offers you some of that, or uh, we can along the way in some way, shape, or form, because that's what life's 